Antiviral is the first film from Brandon Cronenberg, the son of legendary horror director David Cronenberg. It's a film that completely rejects the notion of subtlety and wears its thesis proudly in a stark highlighter yellow. Its aim is to comment on the horrid nature of celebrity culture and the commodification of celebrity. Its premise is a darkly satirical one that involves a man named Sid who works at a company that sells celebrity illnesses to their obsessed fans. In its fictional world, the general public's obsession with famous individuals has spiraled to heights that are absurd. They want to eat lab-grown meat made from celebrity cells and be infected by diseases that were carried by stars that they are enamored with. This scene, in which a young man is flustered at the incoming injection of an STI, is uniquely funny and off-putting, not just because of the absurdity of the situation, but also due to the high probability that some superfan in our reality would be willing to do the same. If she kissed you, it's burnt your left side. Around here. On the left, it'd be like she gave it to you in person. Oh, yes, I'd like the left side. Just a little pinch. He and the salesman both seem aroused at the notion of carrying the same exact strain of infection that their idol was carrying. The film frames the obsessing over stars as a societal contagion that is deeply unhealthy and rots society, which is a fair and accurate framing. There is nothing wrong with knowing a lot of trivia about a celebrity. However, fawning over every single action of them, or wanting to know their locations at all times, and reading baseless and predatory tabloids just to get your daily fix is probably an indication of an unhealthy obsession. The industry around celebrities in our reality, while not as absurd as the one presented in the film, is still pretty toxic. Even the known abuse of K-pop stars are waved off by their stands saying it happens in every other industry, while ignoring their own contribution to said system and their immense online presence, which would surely be enough to, at the very least, get a response from the labels that exploit the singers from their childhood well into their adulthood. While not always the case, the movie shows the celebrities as victims of their commodification. They are viewed as cash cows and nothing more. Even after their death, they'll remain as money printers for whoever owned the rights to their art and image, a cow to be eternally milked. Something we see often with artists who either after their death go on hologram tours or release a new album. Due to the progress made in CGI, we now are seeing actors being digitized to sell products. Heck, even Bruce Lee was used to sell whiskey, despite him abstaining from drinking alcohol. Just look at the ending, which sees the celebrity in her final state. Welcome everyone to my afterlife, exclusively from Volantessa. From the perspective of the virus, a human being is irrelevant. What matters is the system that allows it to function. Skin cell, nerve cells, the right home for the right disease. Within our afterlife capsule, the system that is Hannah Geist's body has been perpetuated, even expanded beyond what existed during her lifetime. Make no mistake, however, this is not some glorified cell stake. Everything inside this housing is either part of the original body or has been grown directly from it as a result of our patented cell garden technology. Our chief technician, Sid March, is about to load the latest virus into the system where it will infect Hannah's body before being sold as part of our Bull and Tesser Afterlife product line. She won't even be allowed to rest in peace as her body will be violated for all of eternity in the name of profit. She's a commodity to be sold and consumed for as long as the company that owns her find her profitable. Antiviral, while a bit jagged in execution and very clearly the first film of a director, it still is an entertaining diagnosis of a societal virus that's shown no signs of slowing. Do you agree with my explanation of antiviral? Comment down below if you do or don't.